In this video, I'm going to show you an oldie but, oldie but a goodie, the Pat's Sail Play out of the Gun Bunch. I think this is one of the most effective plays in the game. It's been one of the best plays in Madden for years. And I want to teach today kind of the concept that you can create with this out of bunch formations and also formations that are similar to Gun Bunch and a way that you can kind of cross apply some concepts. Now this is in the New England Patriots playbook, but this can literally cross apply to all kinds of different formations. And I'm gonna show you how to do that in this video. So uh, if you guys wanna get my entire Gun Bunch offensive ebook, that is gonna be in the Patreon. It's only $10 to become a member. It gets you access to all of our Madden 23 offensive and defensive ebooks, as well as all of our updates to those ebooks and any kind of pro tips that we drop uh, throughout the Patreon. So if you wanna become a member, it's only $10 to do so, and the link is down in the description. The play is Pat's Sale we're taking a look at today, and the setup, um, you don't need any Hot Rod Master abilities whatsoever to set this play up. So what you're going to do is you're just going to drag your tight end. You can leave uh, this guy on this kind of glitchy fade route right here, and then you're going to slant your outside bunch receiver. Now, with the running back, you can kind of do one of about three or four things. We can put him on a table route if we have Hot Route Master. Um, there actually is a lot of value to that and maybe put the tight end on an end route for kind of timing purposes. Um, you could do that. Another thing you could do is you can wheel the running back, kind of get him up and around into the seam area of the field. You notice here that it's gonna make him kind of run into different players, but we're gonna motion snap this slant outside. So this is certainly not a bad thing. You'll see here, he'll get himself out of the way and that tight end route will come underneath it as you can see right here. Now, the reason that the table route is actually a really, really good adjustment uh, or a really, really good way to run this play, especially when you couple that with an in route is because this table route is gonna clear out this flat and then you can kind of throw this ball like right in that little pocket right there against that defense as you can see. So that gives us uh, that gives us some versatility out of uh, out of the play Pat's Y sale so or Pat sale. Um, now the next thing that I want to show you with this concept though is you can also just block the running back and this would be my recommendation if they're doing maybe an adjustment like this over here on the bunch side I would just go ahead and block the running back um, and not worry too much about it and the reason why is just because of, in the in the event that they are going to blitz you you're going to get a fairly uh, more effective pass pro. And then the route that we're really gonna look at here is this post route. Now, as you can see right there, he gets pretty nice separation against man coverage, even if he's cross man, and even if the safety he's cross man on has inside shade. Now, one of the things you probably notice there though, is if you watch this fade route to Julio Jones, depending on just kind of how the route runs, he gets jammed off the line of scrimmage, but then we can freeform and pass lead that up into the outside. And as you can see, it can put him in a position to be able to attack man coverage over the top for a pretty big play. Now, there is another way around this. If you want him to run a little bit more straight um, and just maybe have a little bit cleaner of a pass off here, what you can do is just go ahead and restreak him. And when you restreak him, what you're gonna see is it's not gonna run as poorly with the, it's gonna couple a little bit better with the post. And really the post is gonna run up and over the top, as you can see right there, and get a pretty big, become a pretty big play for us um, in this. Now, the most important thing to show though, is what if they have off coverage? Um, because the jam is what messes with the timing on this play. But if they're not pressing you, um, you're gonna see that this play really uh, spaces the field well. Uh, and what you're gonna see here, you got that tight end, you got that slant, and then you have this post. And it makes it so hard to use her because they have to use her that post. If they don't use her that post, you can throw that all day long. I'll show it to you against zone here. So if they don't use her the, the, the post route to the solo receiver, it's gonna be open against every coverage in the game. And where you're gonna really throw it is you're gonna freeform it inside, kind of right in here, or not freeform, I apologize, I meant to say high ball, uh, because if you freeform it, it's gonna run into the to the quarter. Cover four is gonna do the best, by the way, out of really any coverage at stopping this. Um, but this is the best beater in the game if you have time, and that's why I like to block the running back. But what you'll see here, you wanna high ball it, kind of freeform, or a high ball and pass it underneath, 
and then you see how I can kind of cut that off um, against cover four. Now, the other thing that I can do against cover four, and again, we're, let's let's go ahead and say that they're bringing these safeties in the box, and you know they're kind of adjusting their defense a little bit to try to take something like this away. This is where having that guy on a regular streak, he's going to clear out zone a little better for us. And then what you'll see here is you're just going to throw it right there and you want to ag it so that you can't get KOs. You want to ag kind of back to the ball or back to the middle of the field. Now that's cover four, and I could show this to you against every zone in the game. Now the one zone that I do think is interesting, um, just in terms of how the zone is going to play this, is really cover two, which we'll get to that in a minute. But you see here, just really clean pocket, able to hit that, able to hit that post against cover three, and then cover two can be a little different. Um, it does depend a little bit on what they're doing. I'm going to take that three rec and put him in the deep blue, and then they're going to also have a mid read. Now that's important because not every cover two has that. A lot of cover twos are utilized uh, to create kind of double flat stuff. But again, you can ag right in front of that mid read because that streak is clearing out that vertical space and just making this a really, really easy uh, way to consistently attack man coverage. Now, uh, the one thing that you need to be aware of though is we're in a game this year where a lot of people like to take these safeties and they're going to roll these safeties, you know, maybe they do like a little middle third here, you know, maybe they have a little um, cross man from the safety inside. Like those are all things that can happen. And so this is where against man coverage, you can um, go ahead and just check it down to your slant. Of course, I threw it just a split second too early, uh, but you can go ahead and just check that down to your slant. Your slant's gonna be super consistent for you against man. So, and I'll show you why. So you have your drag as well. Your drag will beat man a lot, but your slant right there is gonna be easy because you can throw that before he gets to that those spies uh, in the middle of the field. And then you can also like, uh, you know, make sure that you don't make the same mistake I just made uh, where I threw that interception. But what you want to do here is you want to wait for this slant to cross. So if they go with that post, then you can throw that slant. He's going to keep running all the way over in that pocket. And as you can see, that can give you about 20 extra yards. Now, like I said, this play and this core concept can be done out of really any um, any formation. And I'll show you what I mean. So if I come over here to trips tight end, this is one of my new favorite plays uh, in the game. So let's say I go over to trips tight end, right? And how do I apply, how do I cross apply this concept to trips? Well, it, it really kind of depends on who's, who's gonna be your post, right? Who's gonna be your post route? So uh, for example, what I could do is I could do something like this. I could take my tight end, put him on a post. Then I'm gonna slant or drag this underneath receiver. And then I'm gonna streak that triangle receiver to clear out all the zone. And then I'm gonna bring this guy instead of on a slant, now I'm gonna bring him on a five yard in route. And so it's the same basic principle where I can hit that in breaking pattern before it hits the yellow zones. So like I said, you can cross apply this to anything you want. Um, another cool way to, to, to maybe think about it might be something like this, where you go, you know, motion this guy over, put the tight end on the streak, and then you have the concept looks like this. And again, you're gonna get this guy up and in, in kind of some soft spots against man, against zone, kind of throw that ball right in that little pocket. So obviously you need to click on and make a play. But anyways, that is Pat Sale, one of the best passing concepts in the game over the last several years. And I believe it's gonna to continue to be one of the better plays, mastering how to pair routes with the post route to kind of build around one of the most effective routes in the game. Thank you for watching the video. And if you wanna get my entire Gun Bunch offensive ebook, head down to the description and go join the Patreon at the link in the description.